Okay, so pink. Pink is the color of today. This is from their Brights collection, Stampin' Up! And then I ran it through the Tasteful Touches embossing folder. So I like that. But luckily, the Mayo Clinic is right next to Joanne's. So I went there afterwards. And I'm sure you're all dying to know my blood counts are all good, except for the anemia but kind of to be expected. This is in the stitched, um, oh heavens, that's that name I never remember. So we're not gonna bother with that because only Karen buys from me. So Karen, if you wanna know, I'll tell you. <laughs> or you can look back at the old videos or in the catalog, but I do love it. This was actually the inside that I cut out when I made an ice cream shaker. And I just thought um, I made the hole for the shaker, but I thought this paper was lovely and didn't want to throw it away, so I was being all thrifty. Okay, I did go with hot pink because, wow, who doesn't love that, huh? So we're gonna go with hot pink. What I love about this, hats off, is they have these little labels, and I cut out not a yellow one, but a pink one. So that's going to be the centerpiece of the card. Let's get to it. And then I'll center all the other stuff around it. Oh yes, I'm supposed to be trying to learn to use my pick tool. Ready? Pick. Ready? Not so ready. Not so ready. Okay. Again, this is, that's not fun. This is fun. This reminds me of Again, I'll say it again. People say it's gross, but I did a lot of wound care and uh, with gloves, you just lightly rub those scabs off. So maybe I should have had a picker and I would have learned how to use it correctly. times you gotta go online or go to Joann's because Stamping Up currently does not have anything like that. Okay, now these are the famous hats that we've all talked about. And I cut them out as, as good as I can. I salvaged a lot of them. Maybe not all. But I just like these hats. I think they're so cute. You could just leave this as it is and do any sort of thing. Fight like a girl. You're adorable. I don't know. Anything would work. don't have the way I want it. Let's see, how's that? I just like all these hats around it because I put two pink sets in because they're the new, uh, the magenta madness and also the new pink, which I would really like, uh, polished pink. So, and, and pink's great. So I think that works. I think you could also decide to tell them whether you like it with all these hats or whether you like it with fewer hats. Hmm. Again, I wish we were live. I wish my friend Sandy were here telling me what to do, or Lily, because she has very good taste at five years old. She knows how to make a great card. If something needs a label here or there, she knows it, and of course she will tell you. <laughs> Which is awesome. Oh, that one has a hole in it. Didn't realize that. Well, we'll have to make a new purple one. <laughs> That's where the scanning cut, cut it. Oh, well. These things happen, especially before you go pro in your YouTube video making channel, which is any day now. Uh, I've got 16 followers. I mean, come on. That's like awesome. Although 
my younger brother did tell me when I got my first follower who was not someone I knew or related to. He's like, that's great. Maybe they, maybe they did it accidentally though. <laughs> that's the love and support I get from my family. And I can talk trash about Ryan because he's not watching this video and neither is my other brother. I can guarantee you that one. I didn't even tell my other brother about it. You're definitely not going to be making cards with me. Okay, well, it probably could have been straighter, but right now, I'm happy. Hold it just for a second. Again, I'm going to stand and cut one of these. It doesn't have a hole. I'll fuss to get it. But I will do that off camera. Okay, this is the awesome brother cut and scan. And uh, I've loaded that sheet of all those hats I stamped onto their little sticky mat. Sort of like the cricket. Boy, I'm shouting out to everybody here. But this tool is just wonderful. And then maybe you can see my craft room because we all like to see people's craft room. Oh, does that look like a dining room to you? Yeah, most people would call it a dining room. And this is the beauty of not being married. I don't have a husband that yells at me for that because he just doesn't exist. So, and I can tell you my 21 year old doesn't care at all. As long as we have kitchen table to eat massive amounts of food on, he's happy. All right, we'll get back to this once the hats are cut out. Thanks.